No, please, no. to me. There's no time to mourn. We need to go.
Just reported back back to base. Not that there's anything to report. No kidding. Though I guess we've got a special guest coming tonight. Yeah, an engine rep, no less. She should be here soon. You know they're hi hiring, right? Think you'd ever make the move to Endrin? Hey! What the f- Clear dusk. We're good to go. Five years ago, I abandoned the woods of Tarker's Mill. I abandoned my cairn. Endrin killed my wife. I gave in to rage. The worm touched my soul. I attacked to leave my daughter. It was the hardest decision I ever made. And in other news, Andrin is joining the, the fight against global warming. The energy company today announced that their, their new biofuel will be hitting the market soon. This revolutionary new formula will be unveiled alongside the opening of, of their new headquarters in... This exile was my only choice. I had become a danger to my pack. I often wonder what's become of them. Of Rod Potko. Of Ava. Of Eighty. 80. This is the closest I've been to Tarker's Mill in five years. How much time do we have before they notice the guards on the outside have gone quiet? They report in by radio every hour. That's our deadline for getting our hands on the explosives and getting out of here. What do your clients intend to do with them anyway? The weather stormers? They're planning on blowing up a big Magadon pharmaceutical plant. Good fucking riddance. I know Magadon's methods. They're the scum of the earth. And guess what? These explosives were originally headed to Endrin, another megacorp of assholes. Stealing from them is just icing on the cake. Let's go through the plan again, just to make sure everything's clear. You've got to swap the delivery label on the crate of explosives intended for Endrin. You do that, and they'll load us up with smiles on their faces. All you've got to do is open the gate to their delivery bay for me. I'll create a diversion while you're exchanging the labels. Got it. We'll have to play it tight, though. One hiccup and the plan falls through. We'll have you sneak around back by their storage facility. Security should be pretty thin there, especially if you go through the ventilation ducts. All right. I'm off. Hey, before you go, are you sure you're up for this, man? You seem kind of stressed out back in the truck. I'm fine. Come on, we've got a job to do. Right. If you need me, I'm just a chirp away. Good luck, brother. We were supposed to have delivered the ammunition one week ago. One week. Endrin doesn't like waiting. Or paying, clearly. You're not getting anything until Endrin is paid up. You can tell that to your President Watkins in person. I don't think you understand what's at stake here. <laughs> oh, I understand that you've just been attacked and you're looking to hit back. I also understand that you need our ammunition to do that. And we've got that ammunition, right downstairs. Ready and waiting to go. As soon as you've paid us. Sorry, Major. The 
Business is business. Well, fuck you two. Then we'll attack Tarker's mill without your help. And rest assured, Mr. Watkins will hear about this. Tarker's mill. Hey. You and I need to talk. Who are you? How'd you get in? I'm asking the questions. Who are you talking to? The woman. And what's this attack on Tarker's mill? I'm calling security. Try it and it'll be the last thing you ever do. The attack. When is it happening? How am I supposed to know? Tonight? Tomorrow? Andrew doesn't exactly share that sort of info. Besides, it's not like I ask them for details. I just give them the toys and let them play. It's part of the reason Endron likes me so much. Come on now. I've answered your questions, but I'm a busy man. I've got things to do. Weapons now. Die. Bollocks. Security! Alert! do stop the truck what's even down there my, my home dusk stay out of this wait call Rodko Rod Rodko they've cleared our northern line they have an exo we'll take care of the wounded later we have to stop them Let's go! Move! <laughs> Zidana. Don't worry, Cahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. They'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? 
I heard that the Cairn was going to be attacked. I was afraid for you. For Adana. And how did you hear that? I overheard Endrin talking about it on my last job. I may have left Tarker's mill, but I never turned my back on it. I couldn't just abandon you. You found it easy enough five years ago. Your Cairn and your daughter have always needed you. I tried to tell you that. Where is she, Rodgo? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest Indran site in the Pacific Northwest. The best option available to us after the failure of her last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Indran bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the Exo during the attack, she drove us back. Tank Girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. We might return at any moment, and Endron just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety. No matter how brief. Go back. No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike. Until I'm healed, there's no way we can make a move on the training center. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get there? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen and come back to me. Then we'll talk about the mine. It has been many a year since I last felt your presence, warrior of Gaia. It's been nearly as long since anyone called me that. Your care needs you, and the wild has need of your protection. The Eater of Souls is fighting with all his might to take control of it. And he is winning. The corruption takes many forms. But the effects are always the same. You must help us fight back. I came back to find my daughter. Have you seen her? Ah, Adana. A dear friend. And always respectful of nature. You fear for her safety, then? She, too, is fighting for Gaia in her own way. But do not worry. You both walk the same path. You will find each other in time. To fight your battles, you will need power. Power I can provide by helping you develop your warrior gifts. Thank you, Ifen. You may find lost spirits during your travels. Return them to me, and I will be able to strengthen your natural abilities. One last request before you depart. Many of your kin fell in combat. 
I would ask you to bury them. You will find their bodies both inside and around the cairn. Your penumbra vision will show you the way. Soothe their souls and send them to me so that they may travel to the wild without being captured by the worm. I will if I can, but my priority is Endrin's training center. Weaken the forces of the worm there, but never forget your brothers and sisters. Gaia needs you. I went to see Fen. He's gotten so weak. Please, Rotko, let me help you. Let me deal with this training center. Why is it that you care now, Kahal? We were so easy to ignore when we went right in front of you. What? You want to be part of the pack again? I want to help the pack. I want to protect Adana. But you don't intend to rejoin us. I've already given in to rage and killed one of our kin, Rotko. I can't take the risk of doing it again. You already know I disagree. Nonetheless, we are united by those we mourn. So I'll accept your help. So what can you tell me about this so-called training center? Ava managed to get a hold of the mine blueprints to help us prepare for our previous attack. The site's weak point is its power supply. They apparently haven't had the time to give it a proper upgrade. The whole thing is powered by one big propane tank, just like it was when it was a mine. I see. So if I blow up the tank, the whole mine will cave in, taking the training center with it. I am indeed. Your friend gave me the explosives that you stole as soon as he arrived. Dusk is here? Yeah. He arrived just after the attack. Don't worry. I asked the humans to look after him. We've still got a problem, though. You don't know the layout of the site, and I'm too injured to go with you. Huh. I don't like touching the stuff, but I suppose I'll use Ava's radio equipment to guide you. It should do the trick. Perfect. So we'll stay in radio contact. Take the explosives and go. Good luck, Kahal. Have you had time to plan our next steps? We gotta act before they realize what we did at the dam. I know, and I'm ready. Go get Ava and Adana. It's time to attack our final target. The plan is simple. No unnecessary risks. We go in as a small team and get the data on Indran's twisted experiments. Then we let the media do the rest of the work for us. Ava? The room housing the data we're after is impossible to unlock from the outside. Trust me, we tried. Which is why I need you, Kahal, to connect me to the server in their central control room so I can open the way for Adana. The problem is, even if we manage to open the door, that room is under high surveillance. I'd be detected before I manage to recover anything. So Ava said, we need security to keep its eyes off the screens for a few minutes so you'll have room to work. Blowing up the refinery should do it. I'll handle that. That would put the site out of action and get their whole security team's attention. Two birds with one stone. But that still won't buy you too much time, Aidy. You'll have to be quick. Three minutes is all I need. And then our problems are solved. Ava, you'll be in charge of coordination. I'm counting on you. Kahal, we'll meet in the area that links their outpost to the fracking site. Okay, we'll draw less attention that way. But if the outpost raises an alarm, Declan and I will jam their communications, just in case. Adana, you go about your normal workday until you get the signal. Everyone else, we attack this evening. I wish you all the best of luck. You ready to go? I've been waiting for this. Ava, can you hear me? I met up with Rodko. We're going through the gate of the fracking site. We're ready to launch the attack. Understood.
Now it's our turn. I'm headed for the refinery. We'll meet up when it's over. Good luck, brother. And you, Rodko. Everyone's in position. I'll show them hell. I'm in the lab. Everything seems quiet so far. No one suspects a thing. Then let's get going. Kahal, you've got to connect me to their servers. Adana, as soon as I create a breach, you get copy. And be careful, all of you. Resist my rage. I know, my friend. No one could blame you. <clears throat> She's all that's left of my sister. Find her. Protect her. For Lord Miller. <clears throat> I had no choice. He was overtaken by rage, he would have killed me. Ronco, please. You can't be gone. Damn it, Ava, snap out of it. They've taken my daughter. Where is she? They... They took her to the roof. Guide me. Adana! Fuck! No! I know you. I am Richard Watkins, Endron CEO. I've been keeping tabs on you for a long time. Then... you knew. Of course. Your little attack, your little plans. <laughs> we knew everything. I've been trying to identify you for some time. You can't imagine all the wonderful things we'll be able to accomplish with you. Losing a few sights was a small price to pay. I've got great hopes for you, my dear. Mr. Watkins, we'll be at our destination in two hours. <laughs> what have you done to me?
helicopter. Find out where it's going. I managed to intercept one of their calls. They were talking about a package they were delivering to Meridian State Prison in Nevada. They also talked about some treatment. They want to do something to her. Find out all you can about this prison and get things ready for our departure. As soon as I'm back, we're leaving for Nevada. But what about Rodko? Are we just gonna leave him? There's nothing we can do for him now, Ava. I'm sorry. But 80's our priority. Rodko would have said the same thing. I know. The backup generator. Rodko's scent is still fresh here. have to get her back before they do anything. Don't lose your head, Ava. Without you, we're blind. stank of the worm. Endrin's decided to pull out all the stops. The worm is on the ebb, but its servants still live. Ready yourself. They are here. And they are waiting for you. Well now. What do we have here? The mongrel that's been killing my men. Truth! Show him what you can do! Be gone. This is no place for bloodshed. Make the Umbra take you. What?
freed this territory from the clutches of the worm, and the spirits are returning to the forest. Your fight for the cairn is over. Yet, in spite of your victories, your spirit is troubled. We have lost our leader, and our pack is scattered. Even heavier on my heart, Endrin has taken my daughter. I felt the Silver Fang submit to his rage. Though you may carry the burden for the rest of your life, you did what had to be done. Leave without fear, Kahal, and find your daughter. I will call the Garu back to this cairn, and continue my endless vigil. We shall meet again. Gahal, Viridian State Prison is in Nevada. They've got a lab below the prison. That's where they're keeping Adana. The Nevada authorities have been hunting a serial killer for years, the Butcher. Badlands Butcher. That's your new identity. I've entered your description into their database. Get yourself arrested. They'll throw you straight into Viridian State. Turned up. Been waiting for you for a couple days now. I take it Ava put you in here? Good to have another man on the inside. How is she? I don't know her too well, but it's clear all this is shaking her. She's putting everything she has into the search for your daughter. I think that's the only thing keeping her going. I can relate. Some of the prisoners might have info. Those with influence. The two most influential prisoners around here are Lon Shabetta and Seth... Uh, Seth. Shabetta's Mafia, and he's still running his business from the inside. I imagine he gets along well with the Warden. From what I hear, they're always trading favors. The other guy, Seth, he controls the drug trade around here. Might be worth a visit if you need a boost. You'll find him in the gym. He never leaves. Apparently he's sick or something. Some of the prisoners might have info. Those with influence. The two most influential prisoners around here are Lon Shabetta and Seth... Uh, Seth. Shabetta's Mafia, and he's still running his business from the inside. I imagine he gets along well with the Warden. From what I hear, they're always trading favors. The other guy, Seth, he controls the drug trade around here. Might be worth a visit if you need a boost. You'll find him in the gym. He never leaves. Apparently he's sick or something. Who's in charge here, anyway? A guy named Hadley. He's the one who gave you the sticky eyes when you walked in. An ex-con promoted all the way up to Warden. Try not to rub him the wrong way. He's an Endron man, through and through. Every bit as violent as his guards. Oh, and speaking of, most of the guards here are elite soldiers in training. And they're not big on warning shots. Got it. You have a plan for getting out of here? I can't protect you while I'm looking for a Donna. Don't worry about me. Ava's got it all figured out. Good. Now lead me to the Shibeta. I'll start with him. What the fuck, Kahal? You slaughtered them. I didn't have much choice. And how are you gonna get into the lab now? I'll find a way. Trick question. I found a way. Overheard a conversation between Hadley and a guard while you were off chomping people. The guard had just come back from the lab and handed over this badge. 
I found it on what was left of Hadley. All yours. Much obliged. Figure I better get out of here before the guards from the other blocks show. I'll send this signal for a Lambda Mankind pickup. Good luck, man. I picked up your scent from down the corridor. You're like me, aren't you? Who are you? My name is Onawa. I am the pack leader of the Red Talons. And who are you? My name is Kahal. I'm looking for my daughter, Adana. Endrin kidnapped her and took her here. Adana's your daughter, is she? I met her. They had her locked up in the cell next door. I was their first subject. But I didn't give them the results they were hoping for. Whatever they are doing, I think it is linked to our first change. Adana hasn't gone through her first change. Their tests on her came back positive. They took her off to Endrin's headquarters. To do what, I do not know. Take me with you. All that awaits me here is death. So, Carl, what are those outsiders doing in my territory? It's not just Endrin spreading across my territory. We have been invaded. Ava and her Lambda Mankind. I know them. The Red Talons do not like humans. And there is only room for one pack here. We're only two Garu. We're not looking to take over your territory. And your humans. They're the ones who give the worm its strength. We should have snuffed them out at the dawn of their existence. These humans are on our side. And we have no intention of settling here. We'll leave as soon as we've managed to rescue my daughter from Endrin HQ. So... You intend to fight, Endron? We could use your help. No. We have already lost too many. We will not join you. However... I will clear your path. My wolves tell me they have already attacked your people. Those attacks will end. You may operate on our land with impunity. At least, until you finish your business here. Stay longer, and there will be war. Go now, and pay your respects to our guardian spirit. 
Parchua tells me that he is waiting for you. Endrin and the worm from this territory. Is that so? Or are you pursuing an aim that is more personal? Are you truly worthy of my confidence? Can you even still call yourself warrior of Gaia? And now you fight beside humans, beside the enemy. Not all humans are servants of the worm. But all are blind. They will never understand the wild or the worm. They try to apply the order of the weaver to everything, Gaia included. They will never admit that Gaia is a wild, uncontrollable entity, and that she demands. Sacrifice. I will prove to you that humans can accomplish great things for Gaia. You will only prove that you are as blind as they are. And you can't see that the worm is already here, and that the humans that are with me have nothing to do with it. Such impertinence. The presence of the worm is not a concern. I have battled it time and time again. Yet it still spreads everywhere around you. Only your cairn seems to remain untouched. Our cairn is all that matters. And we are ready to make what sacrifices we must to maintain it. Onawa has taken that role upon herself, but she may not be the last. Now go, pursue your quest. I shall judge your worth. We're on the same side, and the Red Talon still. Ava said they're a different pack than the Gahal. ones in Tarker's mill. But We're gonna have to be careful. you're alone. I'm sorry, Ava. They'd already moved Adana out of the prison by the time I got there. Ah, shit. Do you know where they've taken her? Endrin's Nevada HQ. Well, that's what the leader of the Red Talons says anyway. The Red Talons? Those fuckers have been attacking my people since we got here. Rest assured, they won't attack you again. I freed their leader from Endrin's grip. They captured another Garu? They were experimenting on her before they captured Adana. Apparently my daughter makes a better test subject. Those fucking bastards! We'll save her, I promise you. The leader of the Red Talons agrees to hold back her wolves until we get Aidy back. But she's not going to help? I think she's using us. We take the risks, she reaps the benefits. At least they'll leave us alone. I'll take it, but have you seen the wall that protects those Indran outposts? It's surrounded by a minefield. Nobody here can get through their defenses, only you. So what have you got in mind? I've been working on it for a couple of days, but I think I figured out how to deactivate their landmines and get you into an evac duct. It'd be too small for a human, of course, but a wolf could get through. Get to the other side and take care of their outposts. Deal with the men guarding the terminals in each outpost and connect me. Once I'm on their network, I'll be able to clear you a path through the maintenance zone. It's the quickest way into Intran HQ. Go see Declan. He'll tell you how to get past the minefield. You must be Kahal. It's time for you to pay for what you've done to this company. 
Your daughter's hates and fears will make a perfect host for Banes. And as for your friends... Well, I've got a score to settle with them too. It's high time they understood. Nobody attacks Endrin. Nobody. Launch Earthblood. No! I'm gonna kill you, you motherfucker! You're gonna pay! Watkins has released his gas across the whole region. You've got to get out right now. What about Adana? The son of a bitch just took her away in his helicopter. I got held up by one of the Red Talons. What? Oh, now we'll have to answer for that. But right now, Adana's all that matters. We've got to find out where they're taking her. Watkins Terminal, connect me. It's up to you now. It's gonna take me some time. You've got to keep moving. I'll open a path for you through their underground labs. Just get back here ASAP. really given into the worm. I have to be sure. Onawa. I had to fight one of your wolves at Endrin's HQ. I had Watkins until your wolf interfered. Why? You still don't understand. Survival requires sacrifice. Endron is too powerful. The worm is too powerful. Fighting against them only leads to unnecessary death. So your pack's in Endrin's pocket, too. You sold yourselves to the worm. 
I've made no pact with the worm. But Endron is prepared to move off our territory and leave us in peace. All in exchange for a few heads. You didn't just send one of the Red Talons after me. You also attacked Ava and her people. That wasn't us. Endron's gas did quite a job of that on its own. But the last thing we need to convince them to leave is your head. You've lost your mind. Pachua never should have allowed this to happen unless... the worms corrupted him too. Through your bond. I'm sorry, Onoa. But I need to put things right. <sighs> I steal your enemy, leader of the Red Talons. Forgive me, Fianna warrior. I failed in my duty. I remain blind as Endron used me to corrupt our guardian spirit. What will become of him now? He was gravely tainted by the worm but will regain his strength and time and be reborn from his ashes. You will forever have the Red Talon's gratitude. How was the worm able to reach Pachua? 
My blind pride. I thought I was strong enough to withstand the worm on my own. But, as always, it was Pachua protecting me through our bond. He suffered the full extent of the worm's corruption. And through this same bond, I allowed the corruption that infected Pachua to cloud my mind. His rage became my own. Your pack has suffered heavy losses. But Endrin's losses are heavier. We shall finish what you have started. Our concerns must extend beyond our cairn. Leave without worry, Kahal. We shall purify this territory. Maybe we'll meet again someday. You will be welcome if you ever come this way again. Declan, I'm ready. On my way now. Andron's black site is based offshore. Ava and the others are already on their way to launch the attack. Over here. My men have already secured this sector. Watkins and his troops know we're here. Doesn't matter. They won't stop me from finding my daughter. I know, but there's something more at stake here, Kahal. I've had time to analyze the data we got from Endrin's HQ in Nevada. The biofuel and the treatment undergone by the prisoners are both linked to the Earth Blood Protocol. I don't give a fuck about the protocol. Damn it, Kahal, listen. Even if you do save Adana, if we don't put a stop to what's going on here, the whole world is fucked. What are you talking about? The tests on the prisoners allowed Endrin to develop a compound that acted as an attractor for Banes. Lots of people affected ended up as Fomori. Then the gas Watkins used in Nevada. It's their biofuel. They've developed a method to spread their compound in gas form, and right now this is where they're producing it. Humans will contaminate each other, turn each other into Fomori, simply by driving their fucking cars. That's the Earthblood Protocol. Then this base needs to be destroyed. Damn right. We'll split up to divide their forces. Go get it done, and try to draw their troops' attention. We both know you can handle it. My team will follow you to place explosives and mop up any stragglers. Fine by me. As long as you can help me find her. I'll open any doors I can remotely. Now, let's go. Good luck, Hal. Huh? Bring our girl back home. Definitely with me. So, Watkins has sent his dogs to do his dirty work.
I've got no choice. We're at the last step. You've got to disconnect the server. It'll allow me to open your path to Adana. I'm here. It hurts. Dad, I don't want to die. I don't. <sighs> 80. 80. Flame uh. uh. throw! Take cover! Call. Call, can you hear me? are almost ready. But Indrin sent in reinforcements. We can't handle this alone. We need you, Kahal. Adana. She's... God. No. Watkins. Tell me where that son of a bitch is. Kahal, we might not make it. We need you here. Where's Watkins? He's on the roof of your building. But please, Kahal, I beg you. Come back to us. Sorry, Ava. I can't let Watkins live. Oh, I... I understand. We'll manage. Get... Watkins. Couldn't stop yourself from coming to see me. You're too late. It's already over. You're gonna pay for what you did to my daughter. Your daughter? She's just as much mine as yours now. The cells we injected her with, perfected her with, are all mine. Though, perhaps, 
her weaknesses came from you. Her anger, her fear, everything that made it so easy for the worm to take hold of her. It's over! You're gonna die here, and your base and your fucking protocol will go down with you. You think that will change anything? You and your kind. You're just pieces in Endrin's grand game. Nothing but pawns, waiting to be sacrificed. You talk too much, you piece of shit! Watkins is dead. It's over. Good. It's what the fucker deserved. Just do me a favor. I'll leave you the transmitter. Blow this fucking place. Ava! Finish the job, Cahal. In a press release, Endrin announced the death of its CEO, Richard Watkins, who was killed during a clash between the company's security service and members of the eco-terrorist group Lambda Mankind. In light of the tragedy, the company's transition committee announced that the release of their biofuel will be pushed back to a later date. Pentex needs the results of Watkins' research. Find them from for me. Where's Watkins? He's on the roof of your building. But please, Cahal, I beg you, come back to us. Ava, hold on. I'm coming. Thank you, Cahal. You can intercept their main force. We can handle the rest. They're regrouping before they come down on us. I've opened a shortcut for you so you can take them by surprise. In position. You've got several waves of reinforcements heading your way. Get ready. Shit! We've been breached!
Ava, I've taken care of the reinforcements. I owe you one, Cahal. Meet up with us, then we can say goodbye to this fucking place. We'll find him. I promise you. After shocking reports from environmentalist group Lambda Mankind led to a worldwide boy boycott, the Endrin Energy Company has abandoned its plans to bring its biofuel to market. In a written statement, Endrin leadership expressed its surprise at what it referred to as personal and unapproved actions by former CEO Richard Watkins. Find Watkins. Pentex is very interested in his research.